I can, I'll do a statement. Um, super excited to be back in, in Gill Coliseum uh, Friday night uh, against UCLA. It's, it should be a, a great um, meet. Uh, UCLA has had a really successful season, and I think um, we're looking forward to being uh, home in front of our fans, and, and uh, teams worked hard and focused in on having a great meet. Uh, so it should be a, a fantastic competition. So Olivia, kind of um, had a great meet on, on, on the weekend. This freshman year, how is it going? How does it compare to your expectations? Um, yeah, um, it's been super fun. Um, this meet, I was able to do pretty good on my vault. Um, that's been kind of a struggle this year, so it was nice to pull that out and um, hit that. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I'm super excited for the rest of the season. So you're not the only freshman on the team. Mm -hmm. um, you've got some others that are with you. Does that help to have like Sophia and others to, to go through the whole freshman orientation list together? Yeah, for sure. We're kind of all in like the same boat. Um, we all help each other out. The team's great at helping us all out. So yeah, it's great having other girls. Jade, obviously this is a different year for you. You're trying to keep two balls in the air at the same time. How's that going? <laughs> Uh, it's going good. I think it definitely looks different than years past, and it's been a little bit of an adjustment to figure it out from not only just me, but the coaches and all the girls on the team. Um, but I think everyone's handling it really well, and I'm pleased with how training is going. What, what's the hardest part of this, trying to have kind of two focuses at the same time? Um. Honestly, scaling back in college has been really hard for me. Uh, competing in college in the last two years have been so much fun um, and really helped me find love for this sport even more than I already have. So it's been hard, but it's also been really amazing seeing other people step in and having a new role and being more of a leader this year. What you're trying to do is something that in the past, because of the rules, you just simply couldn't do. So who do you talk to about how to do this when this is not something people have been doing? There's no, there's no history of this. Yeah, um, I really lean on my people here. Um, they see me every single day in the gym, know what I need, and know how to help me. So they're definitely my support system, my family, and the family here. Like I said, everyone just is so great at supporting me and getting me where, to where I want to be. And the, and the coaching staff, how do, you, how do you balance all of that? And how do you actually get Jay to like take any time off and rest? <laughs> Which is part of it, but right now it could be easy to see how the idea could be, you know, I'll, I'll rest in the fall. Right. Uh, you're right. No one's ever really done it like this before. And certainly we haven't. Uh, but. Luckily, um, you know, Jade has trained for the Olympics and was super successful, and having her dad on the staff is a, is big, a big plus for that. Um, and you're right, it's more of trying to get Jade to, we're gonna be okay, because she, she's in there, we just finished practice, she'll, she's doing additional training uh, to try to make sure she gets the reps in for the elite routines as well as her college routine. I mean, that's, that's you're right, balancing quite a bit. But um, I think communicating with her, trusting, um, you know, her instincts, her dad's instincts about what they need to do to get ready for the elite level of gymnastics and knowing that she has two years of college under her belt, which is great because I think if, if it would have been her first year in college and trying to make it, it, it would have been probably overwhelming, but she kind of knows the pace of the college season now and where Olivia's just all new to her and every, every week's like, we have another meet and we're like, yep, and, so, <laughs> and we're only halfway through. And so it, it's different, but Jade is two year veteran now and, and she can handle the college scene pretty well and knows what to expect. Also knows what she needs to do for the elite track. And I think we're doing, we're communicating with her and she's communicating with us to make sure we're, we're balanced and we're making the progress we want to see for, for her as we move forward. Last couple of weeks, tough competition on the road. Where do you feel like the team is at um, getting ready for, again, another huge meet that at least is one at home you know, against UCLA on Friday night? Uh, um, I will say that our meet at Utah 
we had a little bit of trouble on floor, right? And that, that was kind of a, a disappointment because I think we had a pretty solid meet going. Um, and that was the second time that we've had a little bit of issue there. Um, but I think they had a really good team meeting this week. I think we've come together, talked about what we need to accomplish and what, what, this, what this team is about and what it wants to accomplish. Uh, and, and the thing that's been challenging is we have been on the road. We've only had one meet in five. So now we get to settle in and our, 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 with Beaver fans and Gill Coliseum, and I think they're all on the right same page of what we want to accomplish and what we think they're capable of. And so I think it's just a matter of us, you know, settling in now and, and taking care of business here at home first. Um, I guess my first question is for Jade. Um, Friday night, Gill Coliseum facing UCLA. It feels like it feels like every home meet is a great atmosphere, but especially maybe just the tradition of UCLA and the, it just seems like the fans kind of take it up another level. In your time here, have you kind of experienced that and what should fans expect on, uh, on Friday night? Yeah, I think Gil is going to be full of lots of energy on Friday. UCLA is definitely a big team for us to go against, but I think we're all feeling ready and excited for the challenge and ready to just fight for every little tenth that we can get. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Olivia, for you, just what's it been like adjusting to, you know, being a student athlete and nav navigating this um, Pac-12 uh, schedule? I, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's a lot being thrown at you, but how, uh, what's, I guess, is there something unexpected that you didn't see coming, or has it been more of a surprising kind of fun thing that you uh, didn't really think that would happen this first season? Uh, yeah, um, I think the traveling has been a lot. Like, we started off, we've done so much, so... It's a little bit overwhelming, but having like the coaches to help and our team to guide us has been, it's made it a lot easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I guess, Jade, I, I got to ask you just, um, I'm sure you saw the news about Gabby Douglas. She's coming back to <laughs> compete later this month. How exciting is that to see? And do you think this is something we'll see in the future? You know, it used to be someone her age, her, her career was kind of just over, but now it, it seems like that's not the case anymore and it's changing for a, a lot of gymnasts. Yeah, I think it's super exciting that she's coming back and we're starting to see a lot more older people <laughs> come back and compete in elite. And I just think that us kind of doing that in college has really showed that, like, okay, it doesn't really matter how old you are. If it's something that you want to do and something that you're passionate about and are still able to do it, then why not? Olivia, for you, you already kind of touched on this, the struggles that you had had in the vault event over the first couple of meets, but mm -hmm. something obviously clicked in that Utah meet. What was that, and how do you kind of take that forward, moving forward, obviously, into the future of this season? Yeah, um, I think I just the numbers, um, putting in more numbers in the gym has helped me become a little more consistent and confident, So, and just finding what works for me, because gymnastics is one of those things that, like, one thing is never going to work the whole time. So finding the little things that um, make a difference and, yeah, make me more confident. So. Was there a sense of relief when you saw that score this past weekend, obviously, in that moment? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, falling two meets in a row was not ideal, and I was not very happy about that. But, yeah, I, for, so when I hit that, I was like, oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think's been the biggest mentor for you? You've talked about a lot of the different things you have to juggle, especially as a freshman. The road travels. Who's been kind of that veteran on the squad, or even a coach that's really kind of helped you maybe calm down and kind of take everything just one at a time and really keep you in perspective for one meet? Yeah. Um, honestly, everyone on the team is really good at helping me like take one thing at a time. I'm Tanya. She's really good at. Speaking about that, she talks to me about, okay, don't think about the whole picture, but think about the little things you need to do to get you where you want to be. So, um, yeah, that's been really awesome. Jay, for you, you've obviously been doing this for a long time now, but I'm curious, after already so many years competing in gymnastics, are you still finding out new things about yourself in this sport, and how does that kind of bring joy into a sport that you obviously clearly have so much passion for? Yeah, I think every day I'm learning something new. Um, I feel like a big thing this year is just patience, um, and I'm learning how much that I've been able to push myself and keep going and do new things. If you would have asked me five years ago if this is something that I would be doing, I probably would have said no. <laughs> but I'm just lucky and grateful that I have this opportunity and I think just pushing myself every day is something that 
I really enjoy. I enjoy the challenge that it all brings. What is it about gymnastics that you really love so much? Because a lot of people, again, the extra workouts, the constant, you know, eye on you, the you know, the competitive, the practice, people could easily get burned out, yet you haven't. What is it about this that kind of keeps you going? Uh, at the end of the day, I think it's just the people um, and the people that I'm surrounded by. Um, it really is a family here, and everyone supports me no matter what and just wants to see me happy and do what I love, and that's really what keeps me going. I'm making lifelong memories and relationships that will last forever. Coach, for you, you talked about it a couple weeks ago, I think the last time I was able to speak with you, how tough the meets against how Utah and UCLA were going to be, and it's really achieving and being what you guys can be and making sure the little things are executed. I know that obviously 196 is still a very good score, but it's those little tiny points that end up making the difference. What did you guys learn from these last two meets heading to UCLA to make sure that you guys execute at the best way possible that you can here at Yale? Um, I would say it's kind of a cliche, but some of the mistakes we've made, I think, you know, we know that we're better than that, right? And and we can learn from that. And we, we kind of look around and go, hey, um, you know, if we did our job, this would have a different outcome. And we, we are very capable of that, of, of the big scores and hitting all of our routines and being a lot a lot more precise. Um, and we will have the result we really want, but we're, we're not there yet. And so I think that's just part of the growth of every, every team and, and certainly our program is that you got to go through that a little bit, and you'll either respond and get, get work hard and get back and put it together and and uh, end up where you want and where you think you're capable of. So I think that having tough competitions the last two weeks has, has gotten us uh, stronger, um, and it's kind of pointed out what we need to do um, to make sure that we're where we want to be at the end of the season. And I think we'll see a big you'll see a big difference, I believe, on uh, Friday night against UCLA. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.